While traveling to Kerala a few months back, we were lucky to have come across this ancient church and decided to pay a quick visit. I think this church is a must visit for all those visiting Kerala and interested in history and architecture. Let me also apologize for the shakiness of this video, but my hands were really tired and we hope you enjoy it just the same. So let's get started with a brief history of the church. This is the St. Mary's Orthodox Church, situated in a small village called Kalupara in the Patramthitta district of Kerala, South India. It is one of the oldest and most renowned churches in Kerala, and it's believed that the founding stone of the church was laid in AD 1339. An archaeological department study also reveals that the church was constructed in the second millennium. The sculptures and figures carved in wood also indicate the same. The church was also declared as the Pilgrim Center for St. Mary on January the 9th, 2009. It is said that the land for the church was donated by the ruling king of Edipoli at the time. The Edipoli kings were rulers of the late medieval feudal kingdom of Edipoli, which included parts of Kalupara. The church is built in the style of the traditional temple architecture prevalent in Kerala at the time with beautiful shingled roofs, 80 feet verandas and porches. This is an exterior view of the front of the church and on the left we can also see the belfry. As we enter the church, the atmosphere is peaceful and it's as though we've gone back in time. We see the offertory boxes. The hanging lamp with the holy oil reminds one of a temple and there is a main altar. There are also two further altars. The one on the left is dedicated to St. Thomas and the right one to St. George. The Sanctum Sanctorum or the main altar and the various doors are in the form of beautiful arches. The roof of the main altar, they say, is in a semicircle and uses laterite. We could not take a video of the interior of the main altar as the curtains were drawn. We can also glimpse the baptistry to the right, covered with a red cloth with a gold cross. And this is a 360 degree view of the church interior. This is one of the porches, or pumugams as it's known in the local language. The interior of the roof of the porch is typical of Kerala architecture. The ancient carvings on the pillars that support the roof are truly beautiful. The 80 feet verandas that run on either side of the church, along with the porches and the wood carvings, all point to the grandeur and elegance of the traditional Kerala system of architecture. Various skilled master craftsmen from the Vishwakarma clan were involved in the building of this church. This particular caste, at that point in time, built only temples and houses of upper caste people. Have a look at the roof of the church and you can see there is an upper story to the church as well. This is a shrine to the main saint of the Orthodox Church in Kerala, Saint Gregorius of Parumala. The stone lamp is as per Indian tradition and the cot 
is the one that the saint used during his lifetime. If you look carefully, you can see that the headboard and the footboard of the bed are intricately carved. The painting of the saint was not clear due to the sunlight reflecting off of it, and hence I have inserted a photo of the saint. The next image is of another saint of the Orthodox Church in Kerala, Saint Givargis of Vatashil. And this is an inscription that apparently states that the church was built in the 14th century and gives a brief history of the church. There is a side entrance to the church as well, and as we walk in through that entrance, we can see the black pole directly facing it. The building to the right is the office of the church, and to the left we can see the side entrance. No trip to a church is complete without a visit to the graveyard. This graveyard lies within the church compound and we can see old as well as recent graves. Oddly, the graveyard gives life to the church, bringing memories of a bygone era. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, this was a quick visit as we were pressed for time. We will surely come again for a more leisurely and thorough visit. Nonetheless, we hope you enjoyed this video and that we were able to give you a glimpse into the beauty of Kerala architecture. Please let us have your feedback in the comment section.